Okay. Well, I think uh, the issue of uh, ASU strike, we, we as an organization, we actually do our best. We have been able to pressure the government over time and uh, ASU to see reason why they should go to the negotiation table. And uh, just recently, the uh, Nigerian Labour Congress you know, called for a protest and uh, we joined them and we identified with them and we appreciate them for their efforts. And uh, as it is, we are not relenting. And obviously, we cannot, uh, uh, you know, do otherwise. And I wish we can. But unfortunately, the government of the day and uh, ASO, they have uh, refused, you know, to uh, come to a compromise for our sake. But for this week, we uh, intend, owing by what the uh, first Kayamo said, we would uh, reach out again. We should be meeting with... Uh, the Minister of Labour and the Minister of Education will also hear from them to know what again is actually the problem because the last time we encountered them, they gave us the assurance that they were actually going to fully resolve uh, issues with, uh, you know, uh, at the academic staff unions and other staff, uh, academic unions. So we are not uh, resting and uh, whatever it is that as an organization we should be doing, we are doing it. It's just that because of the volatile nature of the uh, uh, situation, uh, security situation in the country, we are also trying to be careful not to overstep. So, but whichever way, we are always on them, always out and doing the needful and our pressure is, uh, we are not relenting. Well, I think uh, to some extent I would, uh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know why Festus Kiamu made that statement, but uh, maybe the product he was trying to sell is, uh, he found it difficult to and had to, uh, you know, opt for that option. But as it is, Except the government comes out tomorrow to tell us that uh, they are no longer capable, that they can no longer provide education, which is part of the basic amenities they should be providing. So we would not take the position of uh, Festus Kayamo Sears. Our attention has been drawn to a press statement purportedly released by a group of faceless uh, persons parading themselves as the leadership of the National Association of Nigerian Students from Zone D, demanding the sack of the CBN governor. Mr. Godwin Emefele, who over what they describe as the bastardization of the nation's economy. Let it be expressly clear that these impostors are neither students nor leadership of nouns in the Southwest, but rather political jobbers readily available for the highest bidders for the campaign of calumny against politically exposed persons for the purpose of blackmailing or settling political scores.